Hey, this is Andrew Collier from CollierMusic.com, and we're coming at you again with another main stage tutorial video. Today we're doing some programming with the EXS24 main stage as sampler. I'm working with Dave Med from The Tubes, the classic rock band The Tubes. They had eight studio albums in the 70s and 80s. Dave Med, my buddy, has been their keyboard player and vocalist since about 1996. I have been Dave's sub since 2012. I got to play with them this last summer, and we're working on a song they haven't done for a while from their album that was produced by Todd Rundgren that was called Remote Control, and this song is called Primetime. So let's get right into the EXS24. I've got a, a song or a set here. I've got my patch here, and I'm gonna go over here, and when I set up, there we go. There's a patch. Now I don't have the channel strip, so I'm gonna Let's see where's the add channel strip. Okay, so I'm putting my channel strip in. Now, I'm gonna go to the instrument. Here's my EXS24 sampler, stereo. So when this pops up, the first thing you wanna do before you put your sample in is push this level all the way to maximum and push this volume level all the way to maximum. That'll give you the maximum output. Then you click on this button right here, edit. Click on edit. And you see, here's our little screen that's going to pop up. Now, I'm going to go down here to the Finder. I'm going to click Finder. And Finder's going to pop up. And I'm going to drag it over here. And I've put this on the desktop. And here's the desktop I want to, uh, here's the desktop. Here's the sample I want to use. Primetime Intro Plus Click Tanner Edit. So I'm going to, now, before I get ready, I want to put this um, down here at the bottom of the keyboard. And now, Oh gosh, let's say I forgot what note that is. I'm going to go to my MIDI monitor, and right now I'm going to go play the bottom A on the keyboard. So that reads A minus 1. See that? A minus 1. So in case you forget, use your MIDI monitor. So let's close the MIDI monitor. MIDI monitor, quit MIDI monitor. So, I, so, so A minus 1 for on the sampler and granted, we have a, this is a full concert, and when you start clicking around and doing stuff, sometimes you get the spinning pizza wheel of death. So I'm going to talk through this for a second while the spinning pizza wheel of death comes back. Okay. Now, just so you saw, sometimes if you click around and you're doing a bunch of stuff, the little edit screen just went away. So don't freak out. It can't, you just got to wait a minute there. It just came back. Okay. So you have to click on it to highlight it. Like if I click here... It highlights that. If I click on this black screen, the main, uh, you know, instrument interface, the GUI, it'll do that. So I got, I want this highlighted. So just, I'm going to eyeball this. Here's C minus one, right? So A minus one is going to be right here. So I'm going to have to click and drag to this A. And, and then after you do that, it'll show you where it is up here. So let's go back to the finder. Click on that finder. Here's my primetime intro. All right, I'm going to click and hold it, and I'm going to drag it down to this A minus, and I'm going to let go. Okay, and then it'll show you right there, minus one. Now, immediately, before you do anything else, go over here and uncheck pitch and leave one shot checked. So what this means, if you left pitch checked, you can, you can spread a sample out throughout the keyboard and play it from anywhere, but it'll change pitch, which we don't want to do. And one shot means we hit it one time, it plays all the way through, and then it's done. Now, see the little red circle over here? We have to save this with the, with the blacked out in the middle. So I'm going to go to edit. That's not that one. Instrument. This one. Instrument save as. And it's already defaulted to save in your sampler instruments. Here's all my other EXS one set. So what, what is this? This is prime time. Prime time intro sample. I'm going to call this version one because it's very possible that we may have other versions in the future. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to hit save. Save. So this sample is now saved right here. Prime time intro sample version one. Okay. Now I'm going to go down here and close that. I'm going to do this. Now, notice we see the whole keyboard. So the first thing, before, let me just hit the A on the bottom of the keyboard to see if it's working. 
Yep, I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear, you probably can't hear it, but I know it's working because I can see it here and I can see it here. And guess what? I don't have my All Notes MIDI off pedal plugged in, so it's going to play until it's done, and I'm going to make some adjustments here. So let's go here, and I'm going to go to Attributes, and I'm going to call this um, Time and show sample version one. I make all like to make all my samples bright red. That's not it. Bright red. That's bright red. I go to the icon and I like to hit that because that's a sample. That's the icon that I use for samples. This thing's still playing in my ears. I got to take this off. The um, and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to zone it. It's the layer editor. And I'm going to go, this is probably going to screw up my computer, I hope it doesn't screw up the recording. But you'll zone it down to the bottom note. And I have no way of turning this off right now. So I'm going to stop the recording, but that's basically how you do it. Right? Alright. Uh, that's it. EXF24. Make your own samples. Thanks, bye.